first step of the installation of the Hyper 412 is installation of the back plate. Very simple procedure. Back plate goes on the rear of the motherboard. What we're actually going to do here, we've got a bolt that will go through the front with the nut, which is affixed to the rear, and can then be tightened with the included nut driver using just a Phillips head screwdriver or the included Phillips head screwdriver. With the back plate in place, you can see we have the four mounting points for the retention plate. It appears to be a bolt coming out of the motherboard with a thread for screw down of the retention plate. All in place, mounting the tower itself is quite easy. Your retention bracket will go right into the underside. Four screws will simply go into place long screwdriver down through the channels will screw the tower into place. With the tower installed in the case, it's simply a matter of snapping on the fan, which is just as easy as going up, latching the top, and snapping it into place. And that's absolutely all there is to it. So installed in the case, Cooler Master Hyper 412. Really a cool looking cooler. It's got the Cooler Master logo with the nice V-shape on top. Uh, some gloss to it. It is a pretty big cooler. Very nice looking, very at home looking in this particular build, which uses a lot of black and not a lot of flash. So, Cooler Master Hyper 412, nice looking cooler, easy to install.